Lord forgive me. Matthew 24, or 16, verse 24. The Lord spoke us in my spirit earlier in the week. Matthew 16, 24 says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and loves his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? Well, the Son of Man will come in the glory of His Father with His angels, and then He will reward each according to His work. I want to go back to the 24th verse, or the 25th verse, 24th verse. It said, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Father, we thank you this morning, Lord. Lord, we give you honor and glory, Lord, because we know, God, that you're in this house, God. We know this morning, Lord, that you're going to come down. You're going to bless, Lord. You're going to do the work that you that you that you have ordained this morning to do, Father. I pray, Lord, that you just open up our hearts and our minds this morning, Father. And Lord, let us be able, Lord, to know, God, that you're in this house to bless, Lord. Again, Lord, we pray that you just send your peace and your comfort to to those who have lost their loved ones this morning, Father. And we praise you for that. Our heart just goes out, Lord, because Lord, we love them this morning, Father. Again, Lord, we love you. Lord, we just pray, Lord, that you let my thoughts be your thoughts, my words be your words, and let your anointing flow through this house tonight, God, this morning, Lord. And Lord, we we'll never fail to praise and give you honor and glory, because it's in your mighty name, Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to preach to you just a little bit about the power of the cross. Praise the Lord. We looked at verse 24, and it says, if you deny yourself, and I looked up this word and to see what deny really means. And deny means that if you refuse to accept, recognize, or believe. If you refuse to accept, recognize, or believe. And I was looking at it and you say, well, Pastor, what's that mean? Well, let me tell you something. When you have a sweet tooth, you deny it. You say, oh, I can't do it. But yet, in your closet at the house and in your drawer you got hidden things in there and you got sweets and when you have a sweet tooth you go get it but you really haven't fully denied yourself of that because you know where it's at amen you, you know where it's at so when you deny yourself of something you don't look for it no more when you deny yourself of something you don't want to believe it's even there anymore you deny it you say it ain't there no more I don't want it because why because you've denied it and it's not yourself Jesus says if you're going to deny yourself if you take up the cross and deny yourself, then you can come and follow me and I'll bless you. Amen. But you see, we look at this morning. I want to preach just a little bit about the power of the cross. First of all, I want to preach to you about how the cross surrounds you this morning. How it encircles you this morning. See, if we don't get in the circle of the cross and if we don't get where the cross is. See, if I lay that cross down right now, if I lay it down, I'm not in the circle of the cross. You say, what do you mean? Well, my, what, what, I'm just going to preach to you what I think it is. When I see the circle of the cross, and I lay it down, and I stand in the middle of this cross, then there's only a, probably about three foot I can go outside that I'm not inside the cross. Because if I go out this way, I'm not in the center of the cross. If I go out that way, I'm not in the center of the cross. If I stay up this way, I'm not in the center of the cross. Because when I don't stay in the center of the cross, and when I get out of the center of the cross, things start happening. What happened? I get disconnected from the power. I get disconnected from what he wants me to have. I don't have love. I don't have peace. I don't have comfort. Because why? Because I'm not in the circle of the cross. When I stay inside the circle of the cross, I'll be able to go through everything that he that he that comes my way. But when I get outside the circle of the cross, I'm outside of I'm, I'm not connected to him. Amen. You say, Pastor, you're crazy. I might be. But if we stay in his circle of the cross, the world we can walk around. Not get outside. Because when we get outside, it's what happens. That's what happens. We start losing things. We start missing things. We start missing out on blessings. We start doing this. We start doing that. Because why? Because we're not in the love of Jesus. 
Because see, without this cross, you wouldn't have a, a new, a new, a new birth experience. Without this cross, you would never have what you got right now. Without this cross, you would never be able to see your forgiveness unless you sacrificed your own self. Unless you did what you need to do. But this cross, the power of this cross that the man hung up on and was nailed to it, lets you be able to have power and lets you to have dominion and lets you have whatever you needed to have this morning. It forgives you of your sin. The man that hung on this cross will take your sin away. You don't have to. I was talking to some people the other day and they said, oh my goodness, it would take forgiven. I said, no, it only takes three words. Please forgive me. I said, that's all it takes. It won't take you an hour. All you got to do is ask him for forgiveness. About three seconds, say a second per word, and you'll be forgiven of your sins. Because why? Because the power of the cross. The cross has power for the man who laid on it. You say, oh no. Well, the reason this man laid down is because you could have remission of sin. So you would have to go out and sacrifice. He shed his blood on this cross. He shed it so you could have forgiveness of sin. He shed it so you could have power. He laid his life down so we could have power in this world. You say, oh no. Oh yes. He says, when I go away to my Father, greater things you shall do. And I want you this morning to gather in the upper room and the power is going to come. Without the cross, the power would have never came. So the cross has power. But we need to stay inside of the circle. Because when we get outside, we get disconnected. I can go out this morning and turn the meter and disconnect the power. You probably ain't going to stay long. As cold as it is outside, within about 30 minutes, it's going to start getting chilly in here. And you know what you're going to say? I'm like saying there, I got a warm car outside that I can get into. But when we're disconnected from the power, things start. The enemy get, it opens the door for the enemy. It opens the door for the enemy to start attacking us. But if we stay in the circle of the, in the, circle of the cross, it don't matter where you're at as long as you're in the circle. Because why? Because he covers us. His blood covers us. Amen. Amen. So that's the power the cross. That's the power that we have this morning. Because he lied, he laid his life down for the cross. He was nailed to the cross. For you this morning to be able to get up and know that you're on your way to heaven. I'm not real sure if I'm on my way to heaven or not, but I hope before you leave you know you are. Some people say, well, I think I'm going to get there. <laughs> If you're in any doubt in your mind, you think you ain't going to make it, you need to get the altar before you leave here. Before you leave here, you need to make sure that you're on your way to hell. Amen? Because he'll give you that assurance. Because the reason you think you ain't, because you ain't in, walking in the circle. Because every day that we walk out and wake up, he ought to give us the reassurance that we're on our way to heaven. We ought to wake up and know that we're in circle. We're in the circle of the cross. You say, pastors, has nothing to do with the night. We're going to get there. I just want to give you a demonstration of how the power is in the cross. There's power in the cross. Amen. But you see, the Bible said, Jesus himself, he said, if you deny yourself and take up your cross Amen. and follow me, and follow me, you got to deny yourself this morning. You say, what do you mean? Okay, Paul, come pick his cross up. You don't care to help me. And Paul's, he's just going to help me this morning. He's going to pick it up. Now you see, Paul's got saved. He's a good man. <laughs> but, but Paul's a good man. But yet, has he really denied himself and took up his cross? He's put, he's put the cross up. He's picked it up. But you see, what happens is he carries his cross. But see, what happens, things start coming this way. I'm not going to preach long this morning. I'm going to let you out of here because I know it's cold. But you see, what happens is he starts carrying his cross. But yet, he's got some fear. He's got some doubt. He's got some despair. He, he's got some oppression. He's got some oppression that is in his life. But he hasn't denied it yet. Because why? Because when you deny yourself, that means you get everything out of your life. That means you push everything out of your life. And you put it on the cross. And let Jesus carry it. Because see, if you're not denying yourself, then you're still carrying this stuff. You're still carrying all this whole crazy stuff around. It's still here. This is depression. 
depression. Oh man, this has got you all tied up and you're just walking around. It's hard to carry your cross when you're depressed. It's hard to carry your cross when you're just, when you have no doubt.
he starts denying himself. He picks up that cross. He starts carrying it. Well, you know what happens? When he says, mm, God, I know you got this. He starts taking it away. He starts taking the, the crazy stuff away. He takes the depression away. And he says, Father, I got some doubt and fear in my life. But I know through you all things are possible. And through you, you're the one who strengthens me. You're the one who keeps your hand up on me. And you're the one who's going to lead me in the direction I go. So I get rid of the fear and let you go ahead and guide me. Let you go ahead and take care of it. And let you do what you need to do. Because why? Because I'm denying myself. Because I ain't out here. You say, Pastor, what are you trying to say? We should say there ain't no problem. I know you got problems. We got problems. You got problems. But I'm here to tell you, it ain't going to keep me from knowing that the cross is going to take care of it. It ain't going to keep me from knowing that I'm denying myself. And I'm not because why? Because what happens is we fret so much time. So many times when things happen, we spread about it. We worry about it. If we just, if we just pick up our cross and say, God, you, Jesus, you died on the cross. You get your power come back. So I won't have to go through this junk. You gotta kick the pride out of the way. Sometimes you gotta say, I messed up. Sometimes you gotta say, God forgive me because I messed up. But you see, when we deny ourselves and he starts, we know that everything that, that's on the cross that God's gonna take care of. And then when we get all of it away from the cross, and we're able to pick up our cross. I say this morning you'll trust him carrying the cross back now. This morning you'll trust him to carry his cross between you. This morning you'll trust him to come through the aisles with you sitting there. Because why? Because he can see. Because that other stuff ain't got him blinded. I'm here to tell you. We got to start denying ourselves, Knowing that everything that we do at the cross. The reason he went to the cross is because we can have victory. Because why? You say, oh no. There's a J.J. Crab saying this all. He didn't promise the cross would not get heavy. I know that. But your cross will never get as heavy as what Jesus carried at Calvary's Hill. I'm here to tell you. If you deny yourself and take up the cross, you know why we go through some stuff? Oh, I'm just going to preach it. Because we don't have enough faith in Come him on. to believe that he's going to do it. Oh, me, that hurt. That did me too. We don't believe when Jesus died on the cross. What he did? Oh, yeah, I do, Pastor. Okay. Do you? Do you? Then quit going through the junk you're going through. Come on, let's right. Quit carrying the things that you're carrying. Come on. Because why? Because when he was nailed to the cross, when he was nailed with those three nails in his hands and his feet, Joe, he took all that away. And because why? Because the cross right now don't carry depression. The cross right now, because you know what? If the cross carried that stuff right now, it would be the defeated cross. I'm here to tell you this morning, when you carry your cross, there should be nothing on it. Because why? Because you denied yourself and you're carrying it. You let Jesus carry it. He said, cast your burdens upon me and let me carry them. I'm here to my goodness. Somebody needs to hear this. You need to let, deny yourself this morning and quit walking through the church. You walk in there. Because why? Take up your cross and follow him. Oh, Pastor, you just don't know how it is. No, you don't know how it is. Come on. Pastor, you, you, you and Pastor Kate don't have no problems. Well, no, we don't. We walk in sunlight all the time. Every time I sit down, I have to sit down on my hands because it claps so much because I got it so good. But when we deny ourselves, See, we got to get rid of this, this. Come on. 
We got to get rid of these. And we got to deny. You know, when you get up in the morning, somebody's talking about me. God was talking about this other day. You know all those nasty flus going around, don't you? Yes. Y'all have had it. And don't y'all get mad at me and say, well, that's what Pastor said. That's the reason I got it. No, it ain't. But we'll get, wake up in the morning and we'll say, I'm taking a call. Come on. I'm taking a call. Go ahead and take it. <laughs> Instead of saying, Father, I trust in your healing. This is just something that's just passing. And I ain't going to accept it. Amen. Come on. Now y'all say, no, Pastor, you just don't. I know, I know you're sick. I know y'all are some, some of you are sick, and I know that. But you had sense enough to go to the doctor that you just have to take care of, right? You say, well, Pastor, you should, we should call. But that's why God gave doctors knowledge to do what they need to do. Amen? But see, we got to deny ourselves. When you wake up in the morning depressed, oppressed, no doubt, or doubt, fear in your life, despair, you need to deny yourself. Say, that ain't there no more. I'm not carrying it no more. I'm not carrying it no more. Because why? Because I'm denying myself that the cross was victory. You think Jesus went to the cross to be defeated? Come on. You think when he came to this earth and he, when, he, when he's walking through heaven and God was looking for somebody to be the same, you think he says, I ain't going to get defeated. I'm going to be victorious. The cross is not a defeated cross. The cross is a victorious cross. To where we won our victory. By a man named Jesus. And, but we got to deny ourselves. Got to deny. We got to feel like that. Because see. When, you, when, you, when, when Jesus died on the cross. He took all that stuff away with him. All the blood that he shed on Calvary. All the blood he shed on the cross. It covered that depression. <coughs> It covered that doubt. It covered that fear. It covered that oppression and depression and healing. It covered all that. Amen. What if Jesus would have said, mm, you ain't beating me? He had the power to do that. Amen. He had the power for to call 10,000 angels to come down. A legion of angels to come down. And keep people from having to go through what he went through. But he didn't. Because he knew one day. He knew one day that you was going to need him. He knew one day that you was going to have to deny yourself. You can sit down for a minute. That you was going to have to deny yourself and put trust in him. Quit carrying it. The Lord has just been impressing on me so much for this year. You've got to quit carrying the stuff you're carrying that Jesus carried. We've carried junk so much. We have carried crazy stuff so much. And it's to feed us. Because why? Because we're not denying ourselves. Because we want to fix it. We want to fix the problem. Instead of let the Lord fix the problem. You're going to make a mess out of it. And first of all, it's going to last a lot longer if you're trying to take care of it. If you just let Him take care of it, you have to walk through that all the crazy stuff all day. If we just trust Him and say, Father, I'm taking up my cross this morning. I'm denying you. I don't want that stuff no more. I'm following you. I'm following you. Wherever you go, Lord, I'm going to trust that you're going to be there. I'm going to trust that you're going to be there. Because why? Because he laid his life down for you so you could have victory this morning. So you could have what we have this morning. But you see, we can't take the cross this morning. And think it's not going to give us victory. Because it's going to give us victory. Stay connected to the cross. Stay in the circle of the cross. Stay to where you can make connection with the cross. Stay where you need to be. Stay because why? Because if you stay connected and you deny yourself, power is coming your way. 
His anointing is going to be real in your life. Because why? Because we got to know that if we deny ourselves and take up our cross and trust Him and not desire our life and not lose our life and let Him be the one. Because he says, I for the Son of Man will come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he will reward each according to his works. He's going to reward you. It's coming today, you're going to get a reward. It's coming today that when he comes back and he takes us to heaven, there's going to be a rewards day. But I believe that we can have rewards day while we're right here. I believe we can walk in victory. I believe we can don't have to walk in defeat. You say, Pastor, it's awful hard to take up my cross. How hard do you think it was him? Come on. Yeah, Pastor, he had to have somebody to help him carry his cross. You got somebody to help you carry yours. Yes, but your cross is not as heavy as what his was. Oh, but Pastor, I've been beat to death. But you're not bleeding. I've been beat down. Not physically. You haven't lost no blood. You don't know. No. When we carry our cross, we don't lose the blood that Jesus lost. I, I, surprised, I surprised Jesus even made it away from the whipping post. It's hard to believe a man can bleed that much. But he shed that much blood for millions and billions of people to be saved. I believe as he was on the cross, the blood that dripped off his hand, the blood that dripped off his hands, the blood that dripped off his feet, the blood that dripped off of his body had your name. That 2,000 some years ago when one dropped it said Cain, Becky, Cecilia, Jesse, Joe. That had your name on it for you to be able to have victory and not walk in denial. But denying yourself. Taking up the cross and following Forgetting about all this crazy stuff. Forgetting about what you're going to face tomorrow. You say, oh, Pastor, okay, you know what? You're not going to face nothing tomorrow than what you and the Lord ain't going to have. Pastor Steve always said there's, you, there's 80, 80, 85, I think it's 85% of stuff. 85% of stuff you're worried about right now ain't never going to happen. It ain't never going to happen. Good pastor, at least 15 more. <laughs> it ain't 99 percent sure. He says the faith of a mustard seed will move a mountain. So that 15% is your faith that it ain't going to happen. This morning, deny yourself. You might be going through some stuff and you might be going through some trouble and you might be going through a trial. But Jesus this morning is saying, deny yourself and let me have it. Deny yourself and give it to me this morning because I'm here to carry it. I don't want you to have to carry your cross and have to stumble over the things that you're carrying. I don't want you to have to carry your cross and you can't see where you're going. I want you to be able to look at me. I want you to be able to keep your eyes up on me. I don't want nothing to keep you disconnected. If we deny ourselves, take up a cross and follow him, he's going to reward us diligently. He's going to give us the reward. So if you're here this morning, you're going through a trial, you're going through a trouble, you say, Pastor, when you're trying to say, I'm not saying you're not following Jesus. I'm not. I'm not saying you're not a Christian. I'm not saying you backslid. Because you know what? I'm not your judge. Only you and the Lord knows what you're going through. 
I don't want you to come around up here and say, tell me what you're going through because you don't have to tell me what you're going through. Jesus already knows. And Jesus already knows. If you want to share with somebody, that's fine. The only person you need to share with is Jesus. He already knows what you're going through this morning. He already knows what you're carrying this morning. He already knows. But you just got to come and give it to him. Well, Pastor, I've gave it to him so many times. I've gave but did you pick it back up? <coughs> did you pick it back up? Because when you picked it back up, you didn't deny yourself. You're still letting it hang on the cross. You're still letting it just hang down. And it's making your cross heavier. So this morning, if you're here, Joe, you come. If you're here this morning and you say, Pastor, I need prayer. I need prayer. I need God to just to come down. I need Him to do some work because I'm going to deny myself and I'm going to get rid of it this morning. Because I want to see His glory. I want to see His power be displayed in my life. If that's you this morning, this altar is open. Don't leave out here this morning knowing that when Jesus is calling, you feel Him tugging on your heart. Don't leave out here this morning. And you know that Jesus is speaking to you right now. Don't leave out here this morning until you come to Him. Until you come to Him this morning. Because why? Jesus doesn't want you to walk around with your head down all the time. He wants you to walk with a little bit of sin. Preached a message a few years back. There's victory in your walk. You can tell people who have victory the way they walk. And you can tell people that are defeated the way they walk. Because somebody with victory that walk with their head held high smiling and grinning. who have been defeated by this old red don't have much strength but Jesus this morning says he's going to give you life in your walk he's going to restore he's going to forgive he's going to heal He's even going to take that stuff that you're carrying across this door. And he's going to take it away. And so when you carry your cross, there's nothing going to be able to keep you from going where he needs you to go. Would you stay with me this morning? Father, I thank you this morning, Lord, for your power. I thank you this morning for your anointing. Father, I thank you this morning, Lord, that we're getting ready, Lord, to enter into an exciting time, Lord, because you're going to come down. Lord, your anointing is here, Lord. And your anointing is real, Father. I pray, Lord, right now, God, you speak to the hearts of your people, Lord, right now, God. Lord, those ones who need you this morning, Lord, those ones who need to come this morning, Lord. Lord, you know the needs. You know what they're carrying, Lord. You know, Lord, what they need to get rid of this morning, Lord. I pray, Father, I pray, Lord, this morning, you speak to their heart, Lord, right now. Speak to their heart, Lord, right now, Jesus. Let them come up to you, Lord. And Lord, let them, let them know, God, that you're there. You're there. You're going to relieve. You're going to deliver this morning, Jesus. And Father, you're going to let that cross be able to shine. And they're going to be able to carry that cross, Lord, looking for you, Lord, and going where you ask them to go, Father. And Father, we praise you for that. The Holy Ghost, you do the work this morning. Holy Ghost, if anybody here, Lord, that don't know you, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you speak to their heart, Lord, right now. Holy Ghost, go out. Speak to them right now. And they will come running to you this morning. And Holy Ghost, you go out and do the work this morning. Speak to the hearts of your people. Speak to the hearts of your people this morning. And let them know that you're here. Let them know that your power is here. And let them know that your power is real. And Father, we'll praise you for that. And the Holy Ghost have your way. Holy Ghost have your way this morning.